The Canadian Armed Forces are in a transformative period, and for most Canadians, change can't come soon enough. New polling from Ipsos, done exclusively for Global News, finds that more than half of Canadians find the CAF is, quote, old and antiquated, but there's a way to fix that. The solution to that, Canadians tell us, is probably giving them more money. And uh, if they could just find their way through the what Canadians see as incompetence and political interference, they feel that uh, Canadians feel that they could get there. 56% of people surveyed by Ipsos shared that old and antiquated view. The poll found that 75% of Canadians think funding should increase to help safeguard our national sovereignty and our territory. And 7 out of 10 Canadians are concerned about the nation's ability to defend itself. The poll found that is being driven by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and China's movements in the Taiwan Strait, including a close call with a U.S. warship earlier in the spring. Deterrence is much cheaper than going to war. And I think that's the point that has to be made to a lot of Canadians is that while uh, we can rest on our laurels and perhaps lean on the United States, they're not going to put up with it for much longer. The Arctic is where most Canadians worry about territorial security, according to the poll, with 73% wanting more bases in the far north. The thing that probably is driving their biggest level of concern is our northern neighbor, uh, which is which is Russia and uh, what's going on in Ukraine right now. And some of those old Cold War feelings towards Russia and the north are probably coming back up. In this year's budget, the government touts $6.1 billion over the next five years to shore up continental defense and unveil a new defense policy update later this year. It's something that will be closely watched by allies like the Americans, with their new NORAD commander promising to have tough conversations with Canada on defense spending. David Baxter, Global News, Ottawa.